prove that the Z270 Teiki is worth 100% of its $220 list price, AS Rock includes a larger voltage regulator than its mainstream gaming boards, dual gigabit Ethernet plus wireless network controllers, Type-C and Type-A USB 3.1, Gen 2, ports, a pair of SATA controllers that extends the total 6 gigabits per second port count to 10, DTS connect for the ALC 1220 audio codec, and 3M.2 ports that work at the same time as the three metal reinforced Key X16 slots. There's still no panacea when it comes to Intel CO resources. As the Z270 Teiki still supports a maximum of 24 P lanes plus a few SATA and USB 3.0 ports. AS Rock gets around some of those restrictions by relying on the CPU's separate P3.0 controller for all three of its reinforced slots, switching automatically from X16 to X8 slash X8 and X8 slash X4 slash X4 mode as cards are detected in the lower slots. Unlike cheaper boards that use CPU lanes for the fourth slot, adding in drive to the bottom slot will still kick the center slot down to X4 mode, killing SLI capability. A P3.0 X4 slot was still fast enough for Crossfire X the last time we checked. Then again, AMD has never been as fussy as Nvidia about teaming up cards on slower slots. The black X16 length slot locks down four of the Z270 PCHCO resources, leaving other devices with some sharing issues. For example, the TO4 SATA port 0 and 1 are rededicated as P pathways for M.2 slot 1. Likewise, SATA ports 4 and 5 are disabled when using M.2 slot 2. M.2 slot 3 has dedicated P lane but adding a SATA card there causes it to steal SATA port 3. And the four added SATA ports are connected in pairs to two P2.0x1 based controllers, drastically limiting share bandwidth. Perhaps we shouldn't go too far into the weeds concerning bandwidth sharing between a few onboard devices, since all devices connected to the Z270 PCH must share the same four lane DMI 3.0 connection to the CPU. When we look at it that way, tying the third metal reinforced slot to the CPU makes more sense. From a practical standpoint, users who need but one X4 interface can choose between it and the black slot when deciding which device should have the fewest bandwidth restrictions. The Z270 Teiki connector layout is almost standard, with two spaces between its two main key slots to help it fit graphics card coolers, its HD audio header tucked all the way back into the bottom rear corner, and its SATA ports all facing forward. Exceptions to the norm include the chipset fed for a lane slot being in the middle, dual, rather than single, front panel USB 3.0 headers both located above the top key slot and the internally mounted USB type of port. Both USB 3.0 front panel headers, four ports, share the bandwidth of a single port via a USB 3.0 hub. The second port that would have been used in a single two-port header found on most motherboards is the one that's broken out into the internal type of connector. The Z270 Teiki includes both single link and HB style SLI bridges, a pair of Wi-Fi antennas, four SATA cables, an I.O. shield, a case badge, a driver disc, documentation, and a postcard. 